Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you how to make farmhouse mashed potatoes, and you're gonna be using the Instant Pot to begin this recipe. Hi, I'm Karen Peterson, and I own the blog 365daysofcrockpot.com, and over there I share new recipes pretty much every single day of the year for your Instant Pot. I hope you will join my email list so that you can get those recipes straight to your email box every day. I am so happy to be making a YouTube video. It's been a while, but I am glad to be back. And I hope that you have been doing well at home and using your Instant Pot a lot. And if not, I hope that I will convince you today to break it out and start using it again because it is a wonderful appliance and you can make so many different things. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you a mashed potato casserole. And this is great for a big family dinner. I'm gonna be half feeding the original recipe. The original recipe makes a huge nine by 13 um, dish, but today I'm gonna to be making half of that much. But if you have a big family, you can definitely double the amounts that I'm using today and make a huge casserole. And it has bacon in it, it has cheese, sour cream, cream cheese, potatoes, of course, all the makings of a delicious uh, potato dish. I know you're gonna love it, so let's get started with the recipe. All right, we're gonna start with two and a half pounds of Yukon Gold potatoes. And you can also use um, peeled russet potatoes or red potatoes if you like. I'm choosing to leave the skins on my yellow potatoes because they don't bother me. I like them, it adds a little bit of fiber, but it's up to you. You can peel those potatoes before cubing them if you'd like. And I'm just cubing them up um, pretty uniformly um, and about half inch cubes. And I'm gonna add these potatoes into my silicone a steamer basket. You can see it right there, it's red. And this is gonna keep the potatoes above the water in the Instant Pot and prevent the potatoes from getting grainy and too mushy. So I'm gonna to continue to do this with the rest of the potatoes. Now I'm gonna pour one and one half cups of water into the bottom of my Instant Pot. And then I'm gonna place that steamer basket that's full of the potatoes into the Instant Pot. I will cover the pot with the lid and lock it into place and make sure the valve is set to sealing and not to venting. And then I'm gonna use a pressure cook time of eight minutes. Oops, first I have to plug in the machine, hello. All right, I'm gonna use a pressure cook time of eight minutes. You can push the pressure cook button or if your version has a manual button, you can also use that. It's gonna start building pressure. It will take about five to 10 minutes to come to pressure before it starts counting down from those eight minutes. We're gonna need softened cream cheese for this recipe. So a little trick that I like to do is just place the cream cheese from the fridge right on top of the Instant Pot lid and it heats up just enough to soften that cream cheese. It's kind of a little trick I love. All right, the time is up, so I'm going to take off that cream cheese, set it aside, and I'm gonna remove the pressure um, that's remaining by pushing the valve to venting. All right, I'm gonna remove the lid, all the pressure is released, and then I'm gonna take out that steamer basket. I have hot pads on just because it is really hot. And then I'm gonna take that water and just discard it because we're gonna use the Instant Pot liner to mash our potatoes in, just so we don't have to get an extra dish dirty. Dump the potatoes in, and grab a handy dandy potato masher, and mash those until they're pretty uniform and creamy. Okay, I have here a fourth a cup of melted butter and a fourth a cup of milk. And I've just warmed it up, the milk, so that it can just kind of keep the potatoes nice and hot. Then I'm adding in that softened cream cheese and it's just a half a brick, so it's four ounces of cream cheese. Plenty to give you that delicious, creamy texture and taste. And then I'm going to be adding in um, some sour cream, as well as salt and pepper. I'm just gonna kind of mix that in first though. 
the heat of the potatoes is gonna just really melt that cream cheese even further. All right, so half a cup of sour cream. You can also use a half a cup of plain Greek yogurt if you'd like. And then I love these measuring spoons. I'm gonna put the link in the description below, but they're magnetic and each measuring spoon has two sides. So it has the, the round side and then the skinnier side to get into like skinny um, spice jars. Um, it's really handy. Um, and I bought mine on Amazon and I wish that I had like five more sets because I use them all the time, I love them. So we're gonna be using half a teaspoon of kosher salt and half a teaspoon of pepper here. And at this point, I'm just gonna use a spoon instead of the masher and I'm just gonna stir it together um, until everything is really incorporated nicely. All right, I've grated some cheese and I'm putting in a half a cup of mozzarella. And then right now I'm only adding half of the cheddar, which is half a cup um, right now. Later we'll add the rest of it. I'm gonna stir that in. It's gonna melt, so those potatoes are really hot still. At this point, I like to just taste test the potatoes just to make sure they have enough salt in them and they're pretty good they just need maybe a pinch more of kosher salt so i'll add that in now potatoes like to suck up a lot of salt so they kind of require a lot of seasoning all right i've got an eight by eight inch baking dish and i'm going to just put the potato mixture into there and then smooth it over on the top All right, we're gonna cover that pan with foil, and then I'm gonna pop it into the oven um, 350 degrees for 20 minutes. Okay, after the 20 minutes is up, I just remove the foil and add the rest of the cheese and cooked and crumbled bacon. More cheese on top. And then I'll put this in the oven uncovered for 10 more minutes. Just pulled this baby out of the oven. Doesn't that look so good? I cannot wait to dive in. Thanks again for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you'd like to see more Instant Pot recipes coming in the future. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.